Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious, really tasty vegetarian scotch eggs. And they'll be served up with some salad and some homemade coleslaw, which I'll put the link below on how to do that as well. I hope you enjoy it. I'd love it. Now, how is that? That is perfect. I'd love to hear your comments on what you'd like to have with your scotch egg and any other comments that you'd like to make on the video and I will get back to you and it'd be great if you could share about the YouTube channel with your friends on social media to let more people know about the channel and help build it and grow it so that lots of people get to see it and of course if you haven't done so already do subscribe to that channel it's free of charge just hit that subscribe button and the bell and that would give you notifications to remind you when the videos come out. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. Okay, so what you want to do is just boil two eggs. So have boiling water and then place your eggs in and cook for at least sort of five or six minutes to make sure they're properly cooked. Okay, while your eggs are cooking, you do your preparation. So we'll just get some spring onions. I just always chop the ends off. And then just roughly chop your spring onions. So you want two spring onions. We're going to be cooking two vegetarian scotch eggs. So what you will need for your vegetarian scotch egg is your spring onions. Some breadcrumbs which you can make yourself or you can buy them in the shops already done. You want roughly about 70 grams of the breadcrumbs about 25 grams of flour, any type of flour, it doesn't matter. And you want one egg, you want to crack open into a bowl. And then you just whisk up the egg with a fork. And you open a tin of chickpeas and you just drain them in a colander and just give them a rinse under the tap. Now, if you haven't got a food processor, you can just mix this up in a bowl, but it's just easier with this, the food processor. And it's so simple, this recipe. You basically need the spring onions, the chickpeas, a teaspoon of oregano, and a pinch of salt. That is it, so simple. I said you can mash it up with a potato masher and do it that way in a bowl, but if you've got a food processor, it's much easier. Just turn it on for about 30 seconds. And you'll see when you take it out, you have this rough, chunky mixture. Okay, and then what I do is I tend to just empty the whole lot onto one plate. And I just bind it all together a little bit. And then it just makes it a bit easier for it to half the mixture because you're going to be making two eggs. And separate it onto two plates. And then just try and bind it in as much as you can. Give it a good squeeze to make it as firm as you can. And then just flatten it down. doesn't matter if it falls apart a little bit. You just want them to kind of spread it out a little bit. Roughly just so it's maybe slightly smaller than a, a side plate. Okay, so once your eggs are cooled, you can peel them. And an easy way for to peel the eggs is to give them a bit of a bash and then roll them. And then that way it makes it a bit easier for to peel them. Some people have real difficulty peeling the eggs and half the egg kind of comes away with it. So that's the easiest way to do it. Look how simple that is. But of course, don't worry if it's not perfect. It doesn't matter. Now, here comes the tricky bit. Um, you place your egg in the middle of your chickpea mixture and you try and wrap this around that it will fall apart and that's okay just kind of try and build it up around the egg as much as you can it's not easy but just be patient 
kind of when it gets to this stage kind of you can pick it up and turn it around and just kind of squeeze it gently and it will come together comes together you can kind of just pick it up and gently squeeze the mixture so it make sure it's a nice ball. Again there's no it doesn't have to be perfect. But that's what you want to do, make the kind of a ball shape. It will naturally form. Then you put this in the fridge for about half an hour. Check around it and make sure you've got no holes. And if you do find you have a hole, just pick up a bit of the mixture and cover it. Okay, so we have a preparation from earlier done. So with the flour, the egg, the breadcrumbs. So there's only one way of doing this and it's getting your hands messy. So get your scotch egg, dip it into the flour and make sure it all gets covered. So gently just roll it around into the flour so it all gets covered. Then dip it into your egg. And again, yes, it's a bit slippery. That's okay, you can get your two hands in there and just turn the eggs around. So worth it though when you get to taste it at the end of this, it really is really tasty and it's a very healthy nutritious meal to do as well then once it's got lots of egg on it you dip it into your breadcrumbs covered just put it onto a plate and put it back into the fridge for another half an hour again dip it into your flour dip it into your eggs dip it into your breadcrumbs the breadcrumb part of it is a little bit easier than the egg the egg is a slippery part but you know what if you did this with the kids they'd have a great fun time with this but of course even as adults we can be big kids and have fun with this Getting your hands dirty, something nice about it. Right, there we go. So this is what they look like before you start to cook them. And so you just place these in the fridge for about half an hour. Okay, so you want to heat up some oil at roughly about three inches in height. And the oil has to be hot, just as if you were cooking chips. And then you place in your egg. I'd say the easiest thing is just to get two forks and about every kind of 30 seconds just give it a turn around. This really doesn't take long, it's so simple. You can see already how nice it's looking. So you want this on a high heat as you're cooking this and this literally only takes about three four minutes. Basically whenever it looks that nice golden colour then that's your scotch egg, vegetarian scotch egg ready. So you just get a, a holy spoon and take it out and place it onto some kitchen roll. So this is what they look like as you take them out. And we're going to serve this with some nice homemade coleslaw, which I'll put the link below on how to make this, and some spinach and tomatoes. So now I'm going to just cut into this and show you how it looks inside. Now, how is that? That is perfect. So, I hope you enjoy making and eating your scotch egg. Thank you for watching today's video with Lifestyle with Sharon on how to make vegetarian scotch eggs. Thanks for watching.